Hey guys, it's Wilderness Boy here again. It's the first day of trapping season, so we're about to head out. We're heading out the road right now. We're gonna see if we're gonna set a bunch of traps: beaver, mink, marten, all that stuff. It's gonna be an awesome day. Stick with us. Set here on this little log. This spot's great for marten. Little tip, guys: put a little chunk of bait right at the front of your thing, right at the front of your box, so they know what's back in the end of the box. Just a little tip. Okay guys, that's a set. Back to another set guys. Fifth set of the day this will be, I think. Yeah, fifth set. Great Martin Habitat. That box we call heavy box is we made out of three quarter inch plywood. So it's heavy as crap. This is another 150 conibear. Already set our 120s out. That's just for getting them to know what's in it. They smell it, and they're like, ooh, beaver, yum. They love beaver. Magnum Martin again. Has a va I'm pretty sure this is Vaseline in it. Has a skunk essence. I love this stuff. Gusto's good too, but this stuff's just awesome. Okay, guys, let's go to the next set. This boy here again. We're just getting another trap ready to go back here. We give other trappers space. This other guy had a trap down there, so we just moved. Well, we didn't have one actually set. We just like giving trappers space. So let's move down here and go set this spot down here. I got bait. You got tufts? Yeah. I see a spot. I'm gonna put it at just a 120 in this trap, guys. Just take this little ribbit. Huh? Just to this little thing right here. I'm gonna put it in here. could catch a mink or a martin here. Preferably a martin. I like setting my traps on the second tension. That way it gives force. 
Yeah, let's turn it around so the chain's on this side. Oh. Magnum Martin stinks. So bad. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Let's go to the next set. Okay. There's a young beaver here. Um, beaver chews up by the road and stuff. So we're just setting a 220 conover. Thought that would be pretty. You shouldn't have the safety latches off. It's a strong trap. Just a little caster mount here. I love caster mounts. They're the best sets ever. Well, not the best, but they're good. They catch they catch beaver. I highly recommend them. Just get yourself some caster. We're just setting this 220 here. Small little beavers, guys. Aren't too smart putting their sign by the road. It'll be yummy, beaver, if we catch them. What? I said I'm going to take the safety Okay. Can't get caster out. Both of them are off. Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, that's how you set a caster mount. Well you saw us set the traps yesterday, November 10th. Well it's November 11th today and it's really nasty out as you can see. But we're gonna go see if we have any martin, mink, and beaver. So let's go see if we can have, if we have some fur on the line. Stay with okay. me back to the next trap. Don't really think. Whoa! Who set another dang trap right next to my trap? What? Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Dude, seriously? Who did that? The heck? Who's setting traps literally right next to mine? Dude, and he probably snapped my trap. Bro, seriously? You gotta be kidding me. Dude. You literally gotta... Look, there's my trap. There's his trap. Look at this. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Seriously, dude. What the heck, dude? Unbelievable. I mean, he literally doesn't even care that my traps this wasn't here before. 
Okay, guys. Nothing I can do. See ya. Do it, yeah, guys. Here's a beaver. We, this was my last trap. We came up to this caster mount set, and we have a nice big beaver, boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a nice dang beaver. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And a 220 conibers. Just to prove, guys, that will catch a Dane beaver. A little chew on this tail means there's more than one beaver. Might get my dad to come reset this with me. Yeah, man, guys. Oh, my God. He's a bit tangled. There's the beaver, guys. Right there. Nice beaver. He's been doing some little cut chewing, so not really a big um, jaw. So I might reset this trap. This was a good producer. So yeah, hold on. Okay, see you guys. I'll just show. <sighs> Unwire this. Okay, guys, I'm gonna um, head out and try to get reset this trap. Okay. Porcupine right there. We're just checking this trap. Has nothing in it, but funny. I was hearing this like scratching noise, and I was like, I know where it's coming from. And I'm looking at this piece of stuff that looks like moss, and all of a sudden the moss started moving, and it was that porcupine. I was coming down here, and I'm pretty sure I see a gray little head down there. Yeah, I got a martin. For sure. That's a martin, yes. Sweet Martin, guys. That's a really nice Martin. Look at that nice Martin. Perfect catch, guys. Perfect catch. Really nice catch. Yeah. That was a really nice catch on that Martin. Really nice Martin, guys. Guys, that's the first Martin of the year right here. Pretty nice. Man, I love their gray little faces. Really nice fur on him. Wow. Okay, guys. Um. Hold on, I'll show you guys the reset. Hold on. Boy again. Um, we're just walking up on this trap. We got another beaver in it. Like normal. This trap always produces at least one a day. Pretty nice beaver in that 220. Yeah, okay guys, um, unwire this, we're not going to reset, we don't have time for that, I got school today, um, okay guys, there's a beaver, smaller beaver, but still beaver, okay guys, see you at the next set, about 8.50 here in Cordova, Alaska, the tsunami warning system has just gone off. Um, we this is the second time this year, so we gotta head up the to higher ground. We're right on the coast here, so Hopefully let's again. go. Um, here at this spot where we've seen rats, I want to know, guys, in the comments. There's this little pile of weeds and stuff. I want to know if this is a rat feeder hut. So, and there's this nice little, little narrow channel right there. I'm gonna set them. Um, a 150 or a 110 conibear in that should do the trick if there's rats swimming through there, which I sub suspect there are. I mean, why wouldn't there? It's a really good spot. Safety's off. <clears throat> It's a great spot for rats, guys. That just looks like it's prime for rats, guys. That looks like a rat trail too, guys. So I'm just putting a set right down there. Maybe I should put some parsley on it. Looks pretty.
pretty good. I think it's good, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wire it to. This has to be a rat feeder hut. Or a toilet. Oh, this is a toilet, guys. That's what this is. See that? Oh, yeah, that's rat. This is a rat toilet. I'm sure of it. And that set right there is for sure gonna catch a rat for me if this is a toilet. Hopefully not a mink, though. Because minks can probably tear these stakes that I'm gonna put in right out. I catch a lot of mink, guys. But... Haven't caught one this year. We've been more after Marden. I'm going to um, get you guys back up when the set's done, okay? Okay, so see you guys. This boy again. I, I came up here, it's kind of a rainy day. I had this blind set for rats here made. I came over here, didn't think I'd catch one. Hasn't been many rats around lately. But um, there's this nice little um, um, bathroom right there. Had a 110 here. That's the result right there. Decent sized rat. Right here in this 110 conibear. bear. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized rat. Well, um, so yeah, really nice rat, guys. Um, I'm gonna reset the trap, show you the rat, and show you the reset. Hey guys, it looks like I have a rat here. Um, it's gonna cross right here. Show you guys. I might have two rats. I have two rats, guys. That's cool. First rat right here. Nice rat. Second rat. A bigger rat. It's right here. Two nice rats, though, guys. Really nice rats. Yeah. That's, those are really nice rats, guys. Um, I think... I mean, I don't know if I should set a colony trap here. Yeah, I'm going to set a colony trap here, guys. I think. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to take these rats out of the trap for you guys. Just pull this off here. Yeah, guys, I highly recommend putting two Kana bears by them, by each other. It works great. It pays off for rats. This set is ju it's just this narrow channel, guys. I mean, it's on this poop mound for rats. Guys, this set just works great for muskrats. I mean, it's unbelievable how good this set works for rats. Oh, yeah, so I'm just getting this. Oh, wait, I'm going to set the colony trap in here. Um, so, rat number one, right here, still dry, pretty, s it's a small rat, but this one's bigger, um, okay. this is a good set here, this has paid me off three rats already this year, and I just started trapping it, so, paying off big time, guys paint off big time. I think I'm just gonna set them um, oh, 110s here. That one, that colony trap just isn't fitting in well, but these just, these 110s are just awesome, guys. Rat, a colony trap and the rat runs will do good, guys. But man, I just love 110s, guys. They just work so good. You just put a stick over it so it makes them want to swim down below set this other 110 up I put two in one run just so I can get a couple rats in one check I'm sure if I put three traps in this set I'd get three rats probably get like four in that colony trap if I used it but I'm gonna just use 110s today
game, guys. Just take these sticks. Okay, guys, that's two. I'm right. So guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll check these one tens later today. Probably, probably have some two more rats. Hey Let's guys. go. Um, I just found this rat, giant rat feeder hut, so I'm sending a one ten here. Um, I don't have any footholds with me. They're all in the truck, but um, this should work. The set idea that I'm doing. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna just make it easy way. Oh, man, this is kind of a tricky set with a conner bear. Oh, I have a, the perfect idea. Hold on, guys. I brought celery today. Perhaps have to pull this out to get the bait. Perfect set for rats right here. I mean, there's a lot of rats because of how big this food cache is, guys. I mean, a lot of rats here. Must be, there must be just a bunch. I've already caught five out of this area. Not out of this set, but just out of the area. Take that safety off. What I do, guys, is I take these, like, S-hooks, and I bend them so that, um, when you're out setting traps, you don't even have to, like, worry about, um, just, like, getting, um, you can set a lot more traps. It's a mu much more convenient for setting. Okay, so that set's done. Okay, guys, see you at the next set. Stay tuned. Yeah, foothold drowner set here. Um, got a rat in it today. Here, pull forward a little ways. Just had it on the bank right here. Got a decent sized rat in it. Yeah. Pretty good rat. That's six out of this area. I just have it wired next to the shore. It took me a little while to c catch one here, but I think they're just avoiding that run. I think they know I have traps in it, so I got one in this one, so that's all that really matters. Because I caught five out of that run over there. There's the sixth. There's another rat, well. Yeah. Send this trap, got that rat out of it. Just got him in this float on the bank. Usually I put up my floats out in the middle of the water, but this time I didn't I only had waders on when I set this trap. But it caught a rat, so that's all I really care about. Just I have some weeds on it like that. Get some celery. Put that in the back there. Another rat, I guess, came up and ate all the celery. First rat doesn't get the celery. Here's the rat, guys. Decent sized rat. Yeah, let's continue down the line. A hole guys. in the top. Pretty sure that's rat. Trying to get a good feel for where to put.
put my colony trap. Right there, I think. I'm gonna just put it right there. I got some wire on this so I can just pull it up from the outside. This is a tricky spot. Water's freezing, holy crap. I don't know guys if I'll get one here, but this is just kind of a tricky spot, but maybe. Looks like rat sign. I don't know. Got a rat in a trap today, at least one. There. Okay, guys, that one's set. Okay, just trying to get a landmark and where I have this. Okay, guys, that one's set. It's just right in there. Yeah, guys, let's Boy. continue. Um, I have a rat here. It's still alive, sadly. got a rat here unfortunately he was still alive so guys we had to put him down um, yeah sadly he was still alive um, but man guys these pellet gun pistols they work they're high powered they give a good hit to the water co2 great pellet gun um, yeah, just check the other traps, there was nothing in it. <sighs> just resetting this. Just using celery as bait. Just put that over it. Get your celery. This one still has celery, so I'll just do that. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, see you down the line.